on the recent Pride Parade that happened on the 30th that was put to an end cause crazy people with crazy antics came about and halted the Pride Parade. Chanting the ever heard statement of from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Which, can I just say how stupid it is that these people are probably chanting to a group that agrees with them? Like. Isn't that kind of a pointless protest at that rate? Because, man, every pro-Israel and typical conservative is really going to care that a far-left protest for Palestine stopped a pride parade. Like, quite literally- Bad news! What? The pride parade. It's delayed. Oh no! Anyway, last week- But, isn't that just comical? A far-left group stopped a left-wing type ideology. You know, the same type of people who would most likely agree with the pro-Palestine movement. But uh, anywho, before I get into this article, I hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is. Here I typically talk about politics ranging all across North America, so that would be Canada and the US. Introductions over, let us go forth. Quote, the Toronto Pride Parade was shut down by Palestinian activists on Saturday who sat in the roadway on Young and Wellesley Streets. I uh, see that Just Stop Oil has a few mascots here. <laughs> who could have guessed? Just Stop Oil protesters are probably the same people who are free Palestine protesters. I could never have guessed that the same jobless weirdos who sat to disrupt regular people are the same jobless weirdos stopping this Pride Parade. And I mean, I'm not even an advocate for Pride Parade, but this is just stupid. Though, uh, to continue, the action prompted police to cancel the remainder of the Pride entirely. Police said officers are on the ground to facilitate the safe movement of people in vehicles or floops. As I said, I'm not the greatest Pride advocate, like, at all, but I'm even less of an advocate for these weirdos causing a mess for anyone. Uh, it continues by pointing out that some of these protesters wrapped themselves in kifyes and refused to move from the street. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. And now, here's the funny part. I was right. These protesters decided to protest in a group that probably already agreed with them. The article goes on to say, No pride in genocide. They chanted. The group of Pride Parade goers chanted along with the protesters, and they all seemed to be in agreement, which made it hard to tell who was being protested. You quite literally can't make this up. Like, who are they protesting against here? The Pride goers? You mean the same people who would be in agreement most likely? Those are the people you're protesting against. Really? Wow. <clears throat> well, uh, look. Just to break up the meandering of conversation, let us take a look at these weirdos in the street. Ah yes, free Palestine, while well, in Canada, which is probably the safest place to exist as it currently goes. Like, I, I would be more for the group if they stepped out of their comfort shell and went to go fight for Palestine. I mean, the pride goers seem to really be in agreement with this group of people, so they seem to want Palestine to be freed. So, look. I would just be much more for the group of protesters if they actually did anything with their life, rather than just be on safe soil complaining about the world about something that they could go and help with. Like, my guys, you're in Canada. I don't want to fight in a war or nothing, so I'm gonna just keep my butt here in Canada. If you are so for freeing Palestine, then you should go and help them, along with your pride flags, cause I'm really confident in the fact that Palestine really needs a reassurance in these trying times, you hear? But uh, then we see that it is not just the pride flag waving people who agree with Palestine, it is also the purple haired people. We are disgusted by the hypocrisy of this 
Once again, uh, not the greatest advocate for prize celebrations, but can I just say that this protest did not make them look good? The police did nothing against the obvious disruption, and Pride is just more and more every day becoming a political movement. Pride, to me at least, isn't any more just about celebrating people for who they are, but now it's more about where your political alignment is. Like, it is so black and white to me that I can just about assume that anyone who is for Pride is the same person who is 1. for freeing Palestine, 2. left wing, and 3. wears weird colors to express themselves. Example, the hair color. Like, no joke, I used to put color in my hair when I got it done, but nowadays, I haven't touched hair dye for the exact reason of NOT wanting to be seen as these left wing weirdos. So I guess, to end this off, I just have to say once again, who are they protesting against here? Like sure, Israel, but they're in a pride parade. Protesting against a group that the pride goers are probably also against. It is a waste of time and effort cause everyone there already agreed with them. But in the end, the left just seems weirder and weirder every day and I can't wait until Pierre Polyev becomes prime minister. Not saying that he's going to do anything against these types of people, but at least we can have some common sense back in office, am I right? Anywho, uh, if you agree with that, then uh, hit the like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join a conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.